led by the noble Yuan Shao, the anti Dong Zhuo coalition succeeded in defeating Dong Zhuo's forces. They soon disperse, with each lord returning to his own lands. Dong Zhuo, who had fled to Shan'an, is soon killed by the betrayal of Lubu. As the chaos of the land peaks, each of the lords begins to make his move. The first to show their hands are Yuan Shao and Yuan Shu. The forces of the two become embroiled in a vicious battle with each other. The other lords soon take sides as the land is split into the two factions. However, though they had chosen sides in this battle, they still had their own desires and agendas. Each soon began to make plans to fulfill those desires. Ugh, I've just about had it. Why do we have to escape from Luo Yang anyway? Lady Dongbai, calm yourself. Moving the capital to Chang'an was Lord Dong Zhuo's decision. You shouldn't express your discontent so openly. If only the coalition had never come, the grandfather wouldn't have had to go and move the capital. I swear that you and Xiao's certainly a cheeky one, isn't he? Forming a coalition and coming here to attack us? Guess he didn't have what it takes to fight grandfather man to man. And don't even let me get started about you, Zhang Liao. If you and your underlings weren't so cowardly, we wouldn't even have to be fleeing Luo Young in the first place. Or could it be, you and your lot were bumbling about on purpose, with hopes of receiving a harsh punishment? No, we would never do such a thing. All my men fought bravely, with no other intention but to crush the coalition. Yet, there was a warrior among them who was skilled enough to defeat even our own Hua Xiong, forcing our army into a quagmire. I had no idea there was such a man outside of the capital. I'm not interested in your excuses. If you lose next time, you won't be forgiven. But enough of such talk. Here we're finally outside the capital, yet we haven't had a chance to stop and catch our breath. Zhang Liao, I'm stepping out for a bit. You know what? I'd like to find a shop that has those sweets you gave me as a souvenir from your travels. Lady Dongbai, now is not the time. These recent uproars have put the capital in a state of panic. Such careless behavior could put you in harm's way. So, just be there to protect me when it does. Just like you always do. Anyway, quit your complaining, and let's get ready to go. L Lady Dongbai! I bear grave news! Lord Dongzhuo! has been assassinated at the hands of Wang Yun and Lu Bu! What did you... just say? Grandfather has been... It's... it's a lie! Lord Wang Yun, Lord Lu Bu, you have gone too far this time. It begs the question, what reason would these two have to join hands? I knew it. It was her, Wang Yun's foster daughter, Diao Chan, or whatever her name was. This is most certainly the works of that woman. She gained grandfather's favor in order to cause him to lower his guard. Nothing but a dastardly vixen that one is. Zhang Liao, capture Diao Chan and everyone involved at once. It will be done. Just wait. I shall have revenge for Grandfather at any cost! Master Sun Jian, what did you and Zhao say? That he would be counting on our support going forward. In other words, he wishes for us to serve as his vassals. You don't say. What is you and Zhao thinking with such a request? Surely that he expects trouble ahead. With Dong Zhuo's fall, warlords around the land know that the land can be seized by force. 
Yuan Chao is looking to leverage our considerable strength. I see. I suppose it's just as bad to stick out too much at times. But, Father, you're not really planning to serve Yuan Shao, are you? No, I declined his offer. There is little reason or benefit for us to get involved in the Yuan family's quarrels. In fact, I wish to discuss something with all of you. What should I do with the Imperial Seal? Indeed, you couldn't have found a more troublesome object, my lord. What's so important about the Imperial Seal, anyway? You, the Great of the Xia Dynasty, once crafted great bronze treasures known as the Nine Tripod Cauldrons that served as proof of one's royal mandate. However, generations later, they were lost during the Qin Dynasty, so the Imperial Seal was created as a replacement. In other words, the person who possesses the Imperial Seal is said to have the mandate of heaven. In a sense, it is a justification to rule the land. So if father owns this imperial seal, that means... This is dangerous, father. If word got out that you have the imperial seal, we would be branded as traitors to the emperor. Who cares, Twen? Father has the imperial seal, which means he has the mandate of heaven, right? So he should be the one to rule the land. That's rather reckless, brother. You're just thinking out loud, right, sir? Hmm. What's the matter with you two? It'd be more dangerous if the seal fell into someone else's hands. Who knows what they'd do with it? You have a point there. It could have been someone like Dong Zhuo. Hmm. Perhaps it is best that I hang on to the seal, for now. It is dangerous, but I suppose it is better than many of the alternatives. Very well. Let's put aside talk of this matter for now. Now the war is over. Let us return to Shangsha for some much-needed rest. After we get back, I must pay a visit to Master Yuan Shu. The timing of his summons troubles me, though coming right after my talk with you and Xiao. I think Father and everybody else are putting too much thought into this. There must be plenty of uses for an item as valuable as the Imperial Seal. We should be using it to our advantage. <sighs> Prepare to die, you mean? Now then, how shall I dish out your punishment? Get away from my Diao Cha! <laughs> What's this? A traitor barking orders? Such impudence! <laughs> so this is... the might of Master Lugu. Just an insect being an insect. I won't forget this! Just you wait. I will definitely have my revenge! Hey, what's with that Lu Boo? Just brushing me aside like I'm nothing. An animal like that won't stand a chance against Grandfather's army. He'll be crushed before he knows it. We'll have to head back to Chang'an and form a subjugation unit to deal with this savage. Zhang Liao, we must hurry back at once. <sighs> Zhang Liao? Lady Dongbai, forgive my impudence, but... You must return to Shang'an alone. Uh huh? What are you saying? When I clashed weapons with him, it became clear to me. The path I must take to becoming a true warrior is one that I must walk with Master Lu Bu. Now, I shall take my leave and pursue Master Lu Bu.
with the intent of pleading that he might allow me to accompany him. I could never forgive such a thing! Of course, nor would I ever expect you to. Yet, I have already made up my mind. Lady Dongbai, once again I realize I'm speaking above my station, but right now, the capital has fallen into chaos. You must remain low for a while, and stay out of harm's way. Now, I must bid you farewell. Wait, Zhang Liao! I've never, never been so humiliated in my entire life. He would choose that beast over me? This I shall never forgive. First Lu Bu kills grandfather, and now I've been betrayed by Zhang Liao? I'll make sure all those who have betrayed me will regret ever having done so. L lady Dong Bai! Lady Dong Bai! Oh, thank heavens you are safe! This is no time to be thanking anyone. Order grandfather's soldiers at once. Tell them they must pursue Zhang Liao and that beast as well. It, it will not be easy. Master Dong Zhuo's army is currently in a state of sheer chaos. What was that? After Master Dong Zhuo fell, Master Li Ju and Master Guo Si gathered our troops together. However, both of them insist that they are the successors of Dong Zhuo. And it has started to cause a rift between them. What are those two thinking? And at a time like this? Useless. The both of them. W what shall we do, Lady Dongbai? If the current conditions continue, our army will collapse from within. Ugh, I'm surrounded by undisciplined fools. Look what a fine mess they've landed us in. Squabbling over trifling details, the lot of them. I'll just have to beat some sense into them myself. Uh, understood. I'll go and gather the remaining troops. The successor of Grandfather, they say? Obviously, it's me. And if there's anyone foolish enough to argue otherwise, they'll just have to be punished accordingly. So we meet again. Are you planning to return to Shangsha, Sun Jian? Yes. Thank you for all of your support, Cao Cao. You have my eternal gratitude. No. I should be the one thanking you. By the way, I heard that you turned down Yuan Chao's invitation. I see word travels fast. How do you feel about my decision? I think you made a wise choice. He is in no position to control one such as you. That is somewhat unexpected. I had heard that you and you and Xiao were old friends. It is because we were friends that I say so. I believe a man's ability should be judged on reason, not emotion. I can see that you are destined to be a greater man than Yuan Chao will ever be. Sun Jian, the land is about to enter a state of perpetual chaos, the likes of which it has never known. I believe the inevitable clash between Yuan Shu and Yuan Chao will serve as the impetus for that chaos. Despite what I said previously, I have known Yuan Chao for a long time. As such, I will side with him for the time being. I would rather not have to fight you. I understand. I shall keep that in mind. Farewell, Sun Jian. I hope that we can meet again, assuming that we both survive what's to come, of course. Watch out for you win Chu. What do you mean by that? Huh. You'll find out soon enough. 
You saved me! I must offer my greatest thanks for your aid! I don't need thanks. I'd rather you tell me, are you acquainted with Li Ju and Guo Si? Yes, I heard the two of them were fighting. So I'm headed to Shang'an to help them work it out. Those two are causing me some problems. Please get them to stop fighting as soon as possible. Of course, that is my intention. I must hurry, so excuse me. Why have you decided to follow me, Zhang Liao? As far as I can tell, you are the most powerful warrior this land has ever seen, Master Lu Bu. As a warrior myself, my only desire in life is to see one who has scaled the summit of true might in battle. I see. Do as you please. What are you planning to do next? You are a wanted man after slaying Master Dong Zhuo. I imagine people will be coming from the capital to hunt you down. If they want to send men after me, then let them. I will simply cut them down. All I desire is a place to fight the way I have always wanted to. At the moment, Yuan Shao and Yuan Chu are at war. Siding with one or the other ought to allow us to have some fun. Yuan Chu's camp is closer. We will start there. Very well. That reminds me. Lady Ling Chi said she wished to accompany us to the battle. Ling Chi? She knows nothing of war yet. Tell her to stay home and behave. But I find that she can be quite determined when she sets her mind to something. I see. In that case, Zhang Liao, do not take your eyes off of Ling Chi during the battle. Yes, my lord. Father, I wish to fight with you from now on. I do not need your help. You will simply slow me down. Fall back. That is impossible. I have no place to which I can fall back. In which case, I would prefer to stand on the battlefield as the daughter of the land's mightiest warrior and help you to victory, father. I will not slow you down. Please, I ask you to allow me to accompany you. You know nothing of war. One mistake and you will be dead. Stay close to my side. If you get in the way, I will order you to retreat. Those are my conditions. Thank you, my lord. I promise to fight in a way that does not bring you shame. Now then, as for who's to be the successor of Dong Juo, have you figured it out yet? Or perhaps... You need me to teach you another lesson. No! You've made yourself quite clear. We shall mend our ways and serve you, Lady Dongbai, with even more devotion than when we served Master Dong Juo. Excellent. Well then, here's your first order. We're heading out to subjugate Lubu, so dispatch your troops. Ugh. Lubu! Please, wait, Lady Dongbai. Our army is currently in no state to be facing Lubu. What? Are your soldiers really that weak? It is just that. With the soldiers that left us to follow Lubu and those that fled during the recent uproar, our forces have been spread thin. There was a strategist among us by the name of Jia Shu, but he has suddenly disappeared. I cannot express the shame I feel. You really are useless, aren't you? Well then, I guess I'll have to go ahead first and take back Luo Young. T take back Luo Young? Of course. It's belonged to Grandfather since the start. Besides, we can't just let that coalition occupy it for as long as they please. 
I'm with her. If Lady Dongbai can take back Luo Yong, it will undoubtedly boost the morale of our troops. Also, if Lady Dongbai can make herself known throughout the land, the soldiers who disbanded after Dong Zhuo's death are sure to return to Lady Dongbai's side. Ever since we fled to Shang'an, the anti-Dong Zhuo coalition's been collapsing from within. Currently, there is no one stationed at Luoyang, save Yuan Shao. If we are to strike, the time is now. Yuan Shao, the leader of that insolent coalition, having the nerve to chase us out of Luoyang. I'll make sure he regrets it. I'll give that Yuan Shao a good thrashing and take back Luo Young. Everyone, let's get going. Yes, my lady. Oh, Lady Dong Bai. Congratulations on recapturing Luo Young. Or perhaps rather, welcome back, I should say. I wonder how much merit there was in recapturing it. Seeing what a mess it's become. This place might even be worse than Chang'an. No, Lady Donbai. Taking back Luo Young from the Coalition was meaningful indeed. After I heard that Master Dong Zhuo had passed, I must admit that I was very anxious. Yet, it is evident now that our country is safe as long as we have you, Lady Dongbai. You really have a glib tongue, don't you? After Grandfather's death, you were unable to join another clan. So now you've come groveling back to me as a last resort. No, no, it's not like that at all. I have no need for your flattery. If you want to impress me, just show me what you can do. Yes, yes, my lady. Phew. Things have settled down at last. Ever since Grandfather was killed, I haven't even had a chance to catch my breath. It would be best for you to take some time and rest. In the meanwhile, we'll reorganize the troops that have been gathered. Although we do not seem to lack in numbers, it would be nice to gather a bit more troops, seeing how our enemy is Lubu. However, if we gather any more troops, our provisions here at Luo Young will prove insufficient. Before we go to battle with Lu Bu, we'll need to establish a supply line. This is no time for leisurely debate. If we're lacking troops or provisions, we just need to go out and get them. After Grandfather's death, who's accumulated the most wealth? That would likely be Yuan Shu. The man who inherited leadership of the UN clan. I see. That settles it then. After taking a short break, we'll have to go and pay that Yuan Shu a little visit. Make any necessary preparations. Yes! My lady! Ah, I knew it. What I'm lacking most are a few good vassals. Is there anywhere I can find a few that aren't useless? Someone who will actually listen to what I say. Someone like... Zhang Liao? Zhang Liao, just watch and see. I don't care how strong that Lu Bu's gotten. You'll regret ever having betrayed me. 